Well, let's get the very latest then this hour uh, from the port of Dover. Our correspondent, Hervé Amorique, is standing by for us there. Uh, Hervé, you are um, just outside the harbour in Dover. There were fears it would be chaotic today. How's it looking this hour where you are? Well, trucks are being turned away systematically at this terminal behind me and then they obviously have to spin around and uh, uh, go off to be uh, parked somewhere on the motorway between here and, and London, 100 uh, uh, kilometres away. So this type of chaos was expected to happen at the start of, the, of next year when Brexit happens. But there is one thing that people fear more than uh, a Brexit with no deal, and that is the new strain, the new variant of the pandemic, which is uh, affecting us here. And uh, as, a, as a fact, uh, Europe has now shut the door on Britain. And uh, some uh, are expecting, and particularly the largest supermarket chains, are saying that if this continues over uh, the next 48 hours, well, uh, some uh, uh, vegetables and perishables and fruits may be missing uh, on the tables for Christmas. Yeah, and given some of the blockages that you're seeing uh, at the border today, there are also some concerns about possible delays in bringing the COVID vaccine in from the continent. Um, what have officials been saying about that? Well, the uh, military are officially, are officially on standby in case that happens. And uh, uh, they, there has to be a military air bridge over from Belgium uh, to uh, over here in, in England to bring over the, uh, the vaccine, because indeed the uh, uh, faith in the campaign of vaccination is the only thing that is left in the hands of the authorities here uh, to try and make sure that, uh, uh, you know, the, the, there is some control brought over uh, uh, this uh, pandemic. Uh, the Minister for Health yesterday was uh, acknowledging the difficulties. He was saying that every effort is being made at this moment in time to test, uh, the, uh, to make sure that uh, the vaccine is, is uh, working on the new strains, on the new variant of uh, COVID-19, which is affecting this country. I mean, there were yesterday 36,000 people uh, uh, te who tested positive on, on the, the vaccine. So it is very much more contagious, 75% more contagious than the previous uh, variants of the disease. So that is the fear. And uh, so far, about 300,000 people have been vaccinated. Uh, the UK was the first country in the world to start uh, the vaccination campaign. Now, GPs as well as large hospitals are being involved, but this is indeed uh, the, the aim of the government to make sure that it continues and that most people, most under 50s, get vaccinated between now and the summer. But as you can hear behind me, uh, this uh, chaos is now starting to really affect the southeast of England. Uh, if it continues like this, well, we don't know what people will eat for Christmas. Certainly, truck drivers here are not very happy. Uh, there is hope that uh, there have been conversations between the, the Minister for Transport, the British Minister for Transport, and his uh, French counterpart. They're hoping that in the next 48 hours this uh, will uh, be solved. But indeed, there are many drivers who have been stuck here in Dover in the last uh, 24 hours.